Now, um, I'm going to add a toggle here, and actually an input, and input, it's right there. Make it whatever you want, output off one, toggle it if you want. Now what this is going to do is it's going to make it so when you press this button, whatever target it's targeting, it's going to stay on that target. So you go to hold target, and you just click here. And like I'll make the target PC so I can tell you what it's talking about. Um, there we go. Now NPCs, and we'll just go. And you notice how it tar like watch. I'll move. I'll move this. And notice how it targets the closest one, like that, right? And it'll do that. At almost everything that all the, that's what the target finders do is it targets the closest one. Now say I want to target that one, I just press the input pad and watch this if I can it'll stay there no matter what. So yeah, I can wire fire up to this, up to fire. It and it'll only change when uh you kill it. So I can press one. Yeah, well, I gotta downgrade my turret, but you get the idea. Like, let's make it hella realistic. So, delay has to go up to like here. There, that's a more realistic turret. See, then you press one and it'll stay there. No matter what. And you'll notice it is aiming for the head. See, like, I'm aiming. He's definitely not the closest one, but. See, it aims for the head. It's hard to tell. Because it's so inaccurate, but if I do make it a uh, bullet spread zero, maybe I'll make the delay a little less. There, see? It's a little high. You could probably. Something's up. Something's off. I think I, wire, I, I put the beacon sensor on poorly. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much a headshotting turret of death and doom. That when you pr toggle it off, it'll then target the closest one. Press the button again, it'll stay on that one. Press it, press it again to turn it off, and it'll target the closest one. See, it's pretty much a headshot. It's just kind of off. Because I don't think I... Um, I didn't place all the things perfectly, so they're kind of off. But yeah, this is pretty much a very, very kick-ass turret. I like adding a little bit of uh, spread, that way if you're off just by a bit, it uh, compensates. Further away, the more less accurate it gets, kind of more realistic almost. So, point four five ish. But yeah, you get the idea. It's a very decent turret. Now, if that didn't already pass my limit, now you could really go. Oh, see. This is where I screwed up. It'll keep firing. Now you gotta go to expression one. And then you gotta go when target is equal to zero, then fire. That way it'll it knows to turn off, uh make fire zero when there is nothing there. Then fire equals zero. Go ahead and validate it. supposed to be an equal sign. Whoopsie. Alright, and then validate it. Six by validated. I definitely name and save it. I already have one. It's pretty good. There now 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 it should only fire. When there is an object and it's within the I guess it's always within it. It's just so accurate you can never run away from it. Anyway yeah. There you go. 
very accurate turret. A little too accurate, it's aiming a little off. But yeah. And if you want to change something, it's easy. Just go in here. Let's say it was the distance of 60. Well, let's just change this to like 50. And simply click update, and now it should work just fine. Yeah, that works much better. So, kinda. Well, it's just so inaccurate because it's a realistic er, turret. Actually, turrets. Realistically, turrets are incredibly ta uh, like they have no bullet spread. They have a small bit like that, and I don't know why it's still so damn off. Maybe because of the weight. Maybe you need a more weight. Like that doesn't seem to do it. I don't even know what's going on there. Yeah, you can see that I don't think I calibrated it right. You'd have to take out your welder, press R, and then uh, now it's going nuts. Uh, go ahead and delete the comm lines. There we go. Center everything back up. Make sure it's perfectly centered. perfectly center this thing again that's not bad I'll probably just leave it there its default position I think because that's how I set up the hydraulic if you want it to lay flat you simply just put this thing low as you can do and see if you can uh, put the hydraulic there when you set it up but yeah there we go maybe a little bit more damage This is like a long tutorial probably and you guys are probably tired of watching me screw around and do nothing. So yeah, this is my tur turret that doesn't seem to want to kill anything. So pretty much, go kick some ass.